Hello my friends, in this video we're going to talk another important widget inside Flutter which is the staple widget. We can manage the state inside this staple widget. So before this tutorial we have introduced some basic uh, Flutter widget uh, which is stateless widget such as row, column, wrap and etc. So in this video and I'm going to talk about uh, how you can make uh, manage the state inside uh, the Flutter. So which means we could use this uh, stable widget to uh, manage our state. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you won't miss out the latest uh, Flutter tutorial. Okay, without further ado, Let's get start. In Flutter, everything is widget, right? So widget is the basic building block of the Flutter app. So we also divide into two types. The first one is stateless widget. Another one would be stable widget. So the stable widget, uh, we can manage the state and the state is mutable. But in the stateless widget, the state is immutable, means we can know uh, trying to like a set state or update the state in this state list widget. Okay, let's go back to uh, Visual Studio Code. Then I can give you uh, a demo to uh, the mastery. What's the differences between those two widgets? Okay, so we open our Visual Studio Code and connect it with our Android emulator. So in here, you can see uh, I have my app, which extends this state list widget. And inside this stateless widget, uh, we actually didn't manage any state, right? So I, I know you may have a question like, can we def uh, define the state inside this stateless widget? Okay, we can try, right? So in, inside this stateless uh, state widget, uh, let me try to declare a state, uh, probably like uh, this account of variable. So when I declare this count of variable and uh, they will show some kind of warning. It says uh, this class is marked as immutable, right? Because we extend this status widget. So we need to make this account a final keyword, right? So if we make this count as a final, we won't able to change its state, right? Because it is final. So we cannot do any state manipulate inside this status widget. Okay, next step, we're going to turn this uh, status widget into a stable widget. So we will probably delete all of these and uh, write down our stable widget from scratch. So here I need to declare my app class and uh, which extends the stable widget, stable widget. So inside this stable widget, we need to implement it is uh, abstract class uh, abstract method from its parent so which is this create state method so inside this uh, create state method we need to return our uh, state right so i just call it my app state my app state app state and also i make a underscore uh, before this class name uh, because i want it to be uh, private and I don't want uh, any other class will access to this one and also I declare uh, my app state class and I'm going to extend the state class and also put my app inside also I need to uh, override it is meeting method which is this build method so and here I just return and we can simply return a scaffold or material I think it's material app and inside this material app uh, we have the home attribute in home attribute we uh, put scaffold and scaffold we have a body attribute and inside this body attribute, let me put center widget and trial. Uh, I will probably uh, place this text widget. 
and also I will specify it is stable stable okay so I save and you can see now our uh, screen uh, we render with this uh, stable widget which display our uh, test here and we could delete those uh, comments and trying to uh, create the state inside uh, this uh, stable widget so we could create the state here and probably I will go call count variable and set to zero first and inside this center uh, I want wrap this text with a colon widget and below this column widget I want a button so I probably will use uh, and on press uh, when I press uh, I want to increase this count number to uh, one right one increase to one so inside this will probably will write a function and the function will be set state And the trial will be still test widget, but I want to uh, increase button. And here, shall increase the button. Trial and required. And here I would like to display our counter. Uh, counter. Okay, so let me see. Maybe I wrap it with center. Yes, I do wrap in center. Okay, probably I give these uh, an axis. Okay, let me delete this uh, set state method. So we just leave it empty for now. So I will introduce the life cycle of this uh, state for widget. Okay, so we go back to our uh, mind map. So here you see in the state for widget, uh, we have this life cycle. And inside life cycle, actually we have uh, more than those uh, five methods. Here I just list the five of them because uh, they are very important and they are frequently used. So we, we have create state and initial state and build method, set state and dispose. So we were talking this create state first. The create state will be create, uh, will create the instant of the associate state. So back to uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, so when you uh, actually create this uh, state for widget, by default, uh, you will run this create state method. So you will create an instance of this my app state, uh, which will associate with you this account about a uh, count number, right? So and then we have this initial state. You only call once, and also after the constructor. So we go back to. Uh, which is studio code and we probably add one more method uh, it will be initial state method so we probably you you see here so when you actually implement these uh, initial state method by default you will call it is parents initial state method because we extend the state and you want to know what associate attribute inside it is parent so we need to call the super in state Yes, sir. So underneath we could probably uh, like uh, get some extra uh, external data, right? External data. So we could fetch API backend code in here, and below I will probably create another method uh, called uh, get things on setup, uh, which return the future. So we we'll probably we could write our code here, and right. And after we successful, we could call then, and we just print something like a synchronous code uh, finished. Okay. I save the code 
and I, then I going to bring out my console right so I clear my console and I press this uh, restart button because the initial state will call every time when this application restart uh, you, you won't call this initial state when I press this hot reload so first I check when I press this hot reload uh, the asynchronous uh, method won't call here okay so I probably uh, I hit this restart button so after I hit this re uh, restart button you will wait 2 seconds the asynchronous method will be finished you see here right so we could do some uh, API fetch in this uh, initial state okay next we're going to talk is this uh, state state method which is the most important method inside this uh, stateful widget we're going to use this one to change our state so back to uh, Visual Studio Code inside this on press method uh, I'm going to increase the count of variable right so initial will be zero and here uh, I would like to uh, query this state method and increase this counter variable and I save the code and we uh, in here in this emulator when I increase this button you see the state will be changed and this uh, the widget will be like a review again right so you see this number is uh, changing so if I didn't uh, write this uh, state method I just increase the uh, manually so when I say after that when I click this button nothing will be changed you see because uh, it changed this uh, number but it didn't call this system method so which means it didn't call this the build method so the page will uh, the, the widget will not going to rebuild so and we change it back to uh, system method and I save it so when I press save this number will be changed because we already pressed so many times this increased button so let's save the code you see the number is going to change to uh, 26 because we already uh, click many times this increased button and the last method would be this dispose method the dispose method will call when the state object removed so you could do some uh, cleaning stuff inside this uh, disposed method okay I think that's all for today's uh, video and I hope now you get more understanding of the stable widget in the flutter so if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, please hit that subscribe button it will be a great support for me and I will see you in next video Thanks for watching.